Hello. Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm Jen Burson. I'm the founder of Generation PR, which is a full-service PR and social media marketing agency here in Los Angeles. And we serve multiple billion-dollar brands, uh, all consumer products, brands I love and personally believe in. And we also, uh, or I should say, I also am, I'm petting my cat over here. I was out of town for a few days and he seemed really sad. My, my kids and my husband said he never came out the whole time that I was gone. And normally <laughs> he's like literally right here on my desk the whole time. So I feel a little bad. I feel like everybody kind of missed having me around, which felt really good when I came home last night. Um, and I was at a conference where uh, it was called Business by Design Live. It is a big digital marketing conference put on by my mentor, um, try, put on by my mentor, James Wedmore. It's so funny, Carolyn, that you're here because um, I actually have in my notes to mention you in my chat. So I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I'll get to that in just one second. But um, the, the kind of crux of this discussion is about confidence, okay? And um, this is something, oh my God, there is a humongous bug on my computer, like staring at me, like sitting at the top of my computer. You have to see this. This is, can you see this bug? It's like just sitting. It's hard to see. Uh, how weird is that? It's like literally on the top of my computer staring at me. Off to a choppy start on this live. It's live. It's live video, folks. Um, but the crux of this discussion is all about confidence because this comes up quite a bit in our paid groups and in our you know profitable PR pr pros group, and it's kind of a common thing, no matter where people are in their agency journey, is like kind of you get to that next level and you feel that kind of lack of confidence again, or you're looking to grow and it's kind of that imposter syndrome that steps in. Um, it's a really common thing that comes up. And I know I'm talking about asking for what you're worth, but it all comes down to this core issue of having confidence or not having confidence. So, um, the reason I mentioned the digital marketing event I went to is that I was asked to be on stage and it was a 600 person live event. Um, I was on a panel and we were not given any heads up on what the discussion was. I think they wanted us to be really off the cuff and just speak, uh, you know, without being prepared, just kind of speak from the heart about issues that we face in our business, how we overcame them. And it was challenging for me because I'm in front of, I think that's the, probably the largest audience that I've been in front of. And the people on the stage all around me is a few, there are a few other people in my mastermind. They are like total ballers. And some of them are a little farther along in their digital businesses than I am. So they're having massive launches, massive um, audiences. And I'm kind of like in a baby stage, but I realized that because I'm newer at that, I had that perspective that probably most people in the audience would relate to more so that I could still let them know what it's like to experience um, challenges and overcome them. Oh my God, this bug is on the move. This is like, how do I get this bug out of here? I had my patio door open and then I closed it because the gardeners were outside. It was really noisy. And this bug obviously flew in. It's just chilling. Pretty gross. Um, so part of what I was able to do to kind of at least get in the mindset on stage of somebody that is there to serve, someone that has, I know, I knew I had information to share that was worthwhile. And rather than second guess myself and wonder if I sounded smart or if I was saying anything that was going to help anyone, I literally just thought about one person. And I knew if you see me looking, this bug is like crawling on the side of my computer. It's so gross. What am I supposed to do? Ah! Um, <laughs> oh my God, it's gross. Um, so yeah, if anybody just jumped on, there's like a huge bug sitting on top of my iMac, like looking at me and now it's starting to walk to the side. 
but the show must go on. Um, just knowing that I have something of value to add allowed me to step into a confident headspace so that when I had the mic and when I was sharing, it was just about being helpful and knowing that there's probably at least one person in that audience that I can help by what I'm about to share. So that helped me through uh, one of the most challenging, I think, you know, kind of live speaking events. 600 people is definitely the biggest audience I've ever had. And I felt really good about how I presented myself and, and I got a lot of great feedback that the information I shared was helpful. And that's all I wanted to do is just be helpful. So what I noticed about the common theme of people not being able to price their services. Oh, it's moving again. Um, <clears throat> we're going to ignore it, okay? You see me looking. It's just a bug. Um, not being able to price their services or ask for what they think they're worth. Um, it doesn't necessarily come down to a lack of experience. It comes down to a lack of confidence, okay? And one of the women on this call, Carolyn, I'm so glad you're here. I remember that when you joined the Agency Accelerator program within just a week, you told me, and this made me feel so awesome because it hit home the message that I am sharing now, that having the plan, just even having a strategy the first two weeks of content in the program, because you get access to the first two weeks within the first week, it's like two modules, made you feel confident on your next sales call or your next meeting. Um, you let me know that, that just having a plan and knowing what you're offering, knowing what you're trying to get the client to do with you, um, and knowing that you are going to be able to offer that support that they're looking for, and having the plan about your business with a framework and confidently asking for what you are worth, it gave you that boost that you needed right at the beginning um, you know, of being in the program. So that is what the, this whole live is about, aside from having this bug and now a cat who's probably going to want to eat the bug. Um, it's about having a state of mind, a confident state of mind that will translate into bigger retainers, better clients. It's knowing that you can serve them. And it's kind of like something you just decide. And one of the things that really helps you be confident is knowing that you have a framework, right? You have a, a roadmap for where you're going. Hi, Elaine. Oh, you guys, I just love that all of the women in the program are coming for more. They're looking for more kind of uh, support and content. And Elaine, I had horrible internet at this conference, but I saw that you implemented the mug digital uh, meeting strategy and you're sending mugs out and they look awesome. And I just am so giddy with excitement that you're actually implementing that strategy. I think it's so fun. And I love that you put your own spin on it. So um, that's super awesome. But confidence comes from having a framework. Okay. So if you, um, Leslie, you guys, I think that says something that all of the people that are in the program are coming and wanting more. I think that's awesome. You guys are so dedicated. Leslie, you're crushing it. I absolutely love what you're doing for me on social. I'm just going to be like, yeah, you guys, this is so great. Um, okay. So, and all of you in the program, this is what I want you to start thinking about as you are receiving the information and the framework that I share, the path to profitability framework that is shared in the program, what it allows me to do is I walk into every single meeting thinking, this is my client, right? They're not, in my mind, I'm like, they're not talking to anyone else. They're just talking to me. And if they are talking to someone else, there's nobody better than us. So it's like, this is my client. And I walk in with that mindset and that confidence that it's already done. It's already a done thing. It's like I'm visualizing it. I'm visualizing like P-H-Y-S, like I'm feeling it in a way that my body and my brain are already acting as if I am in that role. And so everything I'm doing is already in a role of service, already in a role of expertise. Um, this bug, 
it's heading down this bug saga. I'm like, this is seriously like, hold on, you have to see this. Can you see this bug? It's big. Oh my God. And the cat is right there. Anyway. Um, so it's, it's, and that was a huge theme in this digital marketing conference is stepping into the role and acting now before you actually have the thing acting from a place of confidence that you are already the person that has those things, right? So it's having the big con, uh, the big client, having the large retainers, having your dream clients, um, you know, having whatever your target goal is on revenue, already being in that headspace that you have that. And now you are operating from the place, the mindset, the decision making and the confidence of being a uh, six figure or seven figure agency owner. OK, so I walk into every meeting like that. And I think these are my clients. There's nobody better than us. And it's exactly the same thing I did on stage in front of 600 people. I just stepped into that confidence and thought, I have something to share. These people need to hear it. And didn't worry about what I sounded like. I just knew that I didn't overthink the little tips. I just said, you know, this is this is what helped me the most. And I'm already getting feedback that people felt that it was helpful. So came from that place of confidence. So it's knowing the value that you provide for the client and how to position that value, right? Um, and that's something that we talk about inside the program. It's operating from your zone of genius. You are offering something unique to the client that they can't get anywhere else, right? PR agencies, digital marketing agencies, social media marketing agencies, there's hundreds of thousands of us out there, maybe more, maybe a few less, but you know what I'm saying. Um, Carolyn, who I just mentioned earlier, said, yes, in fact, it's given me the confidence and affirmation to turn down some other projects and hourly rate items in order to continue my goal of only retainer clients and felt great to say no with, well, with you behind me. Well, thank you. i I'm always behind you, but I just feel like that came from you and knowing what you want and knowing that those other things are a distraction and, you know, are good in the short term, maybe, but don't ultimately serve your long term vision and goals. And that confidence comes from having a plan, right? So um, you're operating from your zone of genius and you know that you're offering something to the client they cannot get anywhere else. And you walk in knowing that it's a decision. Confidence is a choice. It's a state of mind. It's a state of being, right? Um, at least that's what it is for me. It's like deciding that you're, you're confident, that you're the best at what you're offering the client and they can't get it better anywhere else. And what being in a group like this allows us to do is having exposure to what other people in the industry are doing and seeing how they're doing things. It's how I was able to shape this program. Um, it's like what I wish I had, this access to this community, this collaborative community in Profitable PR Pros and my paid programs. This didn't exist when I started my business. You know, if this existed, I would have had faster results. I would have been much more profitable much earlier on. And it's amazing that this exists now and that people are open and willing to share because our industry is traditionally very close to the vest. But when you see how others are doing it, you feel confident that you are at least nuancing your services or your pitch to offer something that's distinctly different that you know is your area of expertise, but also gives you confidence that you're doing things the right way that other people, other agencies are structuring things similarly so that you're not guessing and throwing darts in the dark, right? And having that exposure gives you confidence. And it comes down to a framework. It's the understanding of how you're running your agency and positioning your services, right? If you have a plan, you have a, a goal. If you, then we work on this in the program. Um, yeah, yep. Okay, Elaine, stop the presses. <laughs> Agency life, and I'm realizing I really was freelancing previously. This program is for every level that wants to up level. That's that's why I set it up this way. Thank you for that. I appreciate that you see see it that way. Um, 
yeah, it's it's really starting from the t- the goal in mind, right? Ending with beginning with the end in mind. Um, and knowing kind of exactly through walking through the process of setting your target, knowing exactly what you need to be charging in order to land at what you want to ultimately make. And if you're shooting from the hip with no plan for what you do or who you serve or how much you need or want to make, you are going to just throw darts and not really understand what goes into the services that you're offering. Are you actually profitable? Um, How do you get economies of scale and be able to play certain things um, together to benefit multiple clients in a similar niche? Um, You know, leveraging certain resources and relationships that you have, having that plan and realizing that all of those things that you're thinking about and how you want to add more value to the client that you can ultimately charge more for it also, you know, brings you back to charging rates that will get you to your target income level. It's about having a plan and having a framework and that equals confidence. And I think Elaine and Carolyn and now Leslie's on the call in the program would agree with that. It's that level of, you know, just knowing where you're headed and that you have a, an approach to get there. And you, when you have all of those things and you know what you do, who you serve, how you serve them, how much that costs and the value you bring to them, you walk into that client and you're in those meetings and you're totally confident because you know exactly what your services are worth, how much you have to charge and what value that brings to the client. And you are then able to position it so that the client also sees that value. So the overall message of this training, this little kind of mini like pep talk, is that confidence comes from having a plan and executing on it. And I love hearing that the women in the program are now saying that, you know, they agree with that because they're seeing that we were maybe shooting from the hip before. Um, and, And Carolyn, thanks for letting me kind of use our first discussion as an example of you feeling that shift right away, even from just the beginning content that gave you the idea of a framework and knowing where you were going and how you had to get there and what you were able to offer the client. And that point that you made that I didn't even include in my notes about saying no is huge. Absolutely right. It's hard to say no to things when it's like, well, it's money and it's work and I need the money or I want the money and I need the work. But when you have a framework and a plan and you know where you're going and how you need to get there, it becomes very easy to see the things that will not serve that ultimate vision and being able to say no to them. Um, And saying no to something that doesn't serve you is giving yourself space and to say yes to something that's better, more aligned with your vision and values, or giving you the opportunity to spend more time with your family, your loved ones, or whatever other things are most important to you. Because after all, that's why we are doing this. That's why we're creating these agencies. Entrepreneurship is hard. Um, Running your own business is not without its challenges. And if you can't create a business and a life that you love, then what's the point? Just go get a J-O-B, okay? So I'll never have another job. This is this is who I am and what I do. And um, I love the thumbs up and the hearts, guys. I yeah, we're not getting jobs. There's no, you know, there's no throwing in the towel here. Like this is why we're doing it. So you might as well be strategic about creating the agency of your dreams, doing it intentionally, and then feeling so good about what you've created, the value that you offer your clients, how you serve them, what your zone of genius is and how they benefit from that. And you walk into those meetings and it's like, you're not talking to anyone else. And if you are, there's nobody better than us. And it's that mindset. And they feel it. They feel taken care of. They want it. They want to be around you. It's magnetic. And that's what having a framework will give you. Framework equals confidence, equals high ticket clients, premium clients, 
bigger retainers, okay? So that's the message for today, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm still on a high from this conference and I have so much to check into because there was no internet. Um, the internet was like awful and I was away for three days. So I'm really um, excited to be diving back into my agency and serving the accelerator students. But I just wanted to share that with you. And yeah, just get that framework in place, know where you're headed. Let that give you the confidence that you walk into your meetings with and ask for those premium retainers and attract. It's all about attracting high end clients. Okay. Hope that helps. Leave a comment. Let me know how that resonates with you or how you are going to implement more um, confidence generating activities or step into that headspace of being a more confident. Woo woo. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. More confident uh, leader in your business. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.